Hello, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we're making smothered pork chops. And I hope you can join me. Get your stuff together. You can pause this video, get your stuff together, and come and we can make it together. Smothered pork chops. If you can look below, there's a red subscribe button. Just press that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. There's also a bell icon. If you press that bell, every time I put a video up, you will be able to see it first. Okay, so let's get started on our smothered pork chops. But first, let me tell you what I have, my ingredients. We're going to start with, of course, pork chops. So I have some nice pork chops here. My pork chops is already seasoned with, of course, what else? Tina Ray's Bajan seasoning. It's already been, um, been seasoned and was sitting here marinating. So I'm gonna put that aside for a second. Set this aside for a minute so I'll show you the next step. So here I have a plate. So on my plate, I am going to put some flour. We're making smothered pork chops, guys. So I put some flour on there. And now my pork chops, of course, I told you is already seasoned, but we're gonna season this flour a little bit. So I'm gonna put in here a little bit of paprika to that. A little bit of my seasoned salt. I have some garlic here. I'll put a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to put just a little bit of salt. You don't really want to put too much salt. Just sprinkle a little bit of salt, guys. I'm sprinkling. I am not measuring. I am just sprinkling a little bit. And you can do the same thing. Then mix that up in there. And this is it. So now I am going to flour my pork chops with that. And I have a pan over here with some olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry these pork chops. This is how I'm gonna start with a little olive oil and butter and put the stove on high. Now we're not cooking the pork chops all the way through. We're just gonna brown these here like really quickly on both sides, okay? We're not cooking it. We're just browning it on both sides. So let's go over to the pan and I'll show you what I'll do next. I have my pan, my empty pan here. There's nothing in it. I'm going to pour some olive oil in there. I start with the good old olive oil. I look what I have. I know Bajans would probably say, where you get mellow cream butter from? This only said in Bar well, I wouldn't say only said in Barbados, but it was given to me. A friend came up from Barbados and she bought me mellow cream butter. So I am so excited. So I'm going to use some of it. You're supposed to keep this in the fridge, guys. Cause look at it. It is hard in here. I don't know. <clears throat> It's supposed to be kept in the fridge or not, but I put it in the refrigerator and it is hard. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a little bit of butter to that. Guys, I'm just using mellow cream butter just because I have it. That don't mean you have to use mellow cream butter. You can use any kind of butter. Because if I didn't have this, I'd be using a different kind. So <laughs> use what you have. Okay. So what I'm going to do now I'm putting my pork chops in here and um, I'm going to let this stay here. My stove is high. I'm just going to brown them as I said on both sides and then take them out. I am not cooking them. 
I just want them to brown quickly and then I'll take them out and then I'll show you the next process okay guys your pork pork chops over here is already done so I took them out I just browned them on both sides it just took a few minutes it wasn't very loud long because I put the stove up high and all I just wanted to do was brown them. They're not cooked through, they're just browned on, on each side. So that's the pork chops. So I'm gonna take you over the stove. This is um, some of the things now that I'm gonna add to the oil that's left over. So come, let me show you. So this is the oil that's left over from frying the pork chops. I'm, I'm just gonna keep that oil, I'm not gonna throw it away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my, now I'm gonna lower my stove cause my stove is a little bit high. So now I'm gonna lower the stove and I'm gonna add in there my onions, some garlic, that's one whole large onion. This is one part of garlic, but this will all be based on the amount that you're making. You get that and stir it. And this is like the, some pork chops with flour. And I'm just gonna saute this for a few minutes. And this is when people add, guys, they add flour to it and water to make it very thick. I think the pork chops being floured is gonna make it thick enough because I don't like it too thick. So I'm gonna show you, but I'm not gonna add flour to this. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So right now I'm sauteing the onions and the garlic. These are some green onions. I'm gonna add the green onions to them. Scallions or chives, they may be called. Continue there. I have in here three different types of peppers. I have red pepper, yellow pepper, and green pepper. Just empty that in there. Just mix it all up well. And I have some tomatoes. I add a little tomatoes to that. And this is my smothered pork chops, guys. I'm doing it Belgian style. I'm not adding any flour to my gravy. And watch and see how my gravy is going to be nice and thick. And if your gravy is not thick, then you can add a little flour to get it to the consistency that you want. Um, I don't like it too thick, so I'm not going to add flour to that. But what I'm going to do... Is remember this little um, water from when I had marinated the meat I'm gonna pour that in there and I'm gonna rinse this out and put some more water in here because I definitely need some water to make the gravy so let me add some water okay so I add some water to that now I'm gonna add my some ketchup and I will add some pepper sauce and um, this is turmeric I always like to cook with turmeric because it's very good for you Turmeric, turmeric. I've heard they call it turmeric, but I know in Barbados it's called turmeric, so I'm calling it turmeric. And um, and this is it. So now this is what I'm gonna do. Leave that like that. Then we're gonna add our pork chops back in there. Now we're gonna let our pork chops stay in here and cook. Because it still needs to be cooked. And pour all that good stuff back in there. All of that goes back in there with the pork chops. 
Uh, guys, this is it for now. All I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let it stay here and take its time. The stove is like on medium. Let it take its time and cook and then I'll come back and show you the finished process. Okay guys, so over here I have a cauliflower. So while our pork chops are smothered pork chops are on, let me tell you about this. Now, we're trying to eat healthy and sometimes we just get tired of eating the rice or we get tired of eating potatoes all the time which is full of starch so we want something a little different to eat cauliflower is almost like a rice if you cook cauliflower and then you mash it you can have it it could go like as a rice or maybe it's mashed potatoes because what happened with cauliflower is it takes on the flavor of whatever it is that you have so since we have here we're gonna do smothered um, pork chops instead of making rice what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook this cauliflower and then I'll mash it and use it like if it was a rice or if it's a potato but I'll show you exactly what I'm doing okay so we'll be back for that Ready? okay guys so this is our smothered pork chops it's been boiling for a while the meat is cooked see the fork goes into it the meat is tender it is cooked everything is cooked so oops I don't want for so what I'm gonna do and look guys you see now as I said normally people when they put the onions and so on they put um, flour in there I think when the meat is fried a little bit with the flour I think that's enough flour because the flour is still in there and it makes it thick so you see that to me that's thick enough I don't like it too thick that you know you got a spoon I like it like this that you know I prefer it this way so if you want yours a little bit thicker than this you can just add some flour to it mix a little bit of flour and add it in here and that would make your um, smarter pork chop sticker I think I don't want it thicker so this is just right for me but you can make your sticker if you want so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste we got to do a taste tester to see if um if it have enough of everything in it so let me taste this it tastes good but it wants something I think it need a little more salt maybe a little more seasoned salt let me do that it need a little more something so I'm gonna put a little more black pepper in there I'm gonna put a little more seasoned salt in there because it missing something a little more I'm gonna put regular salt that's salt put a little salt in there not too much I'm gonna put a little more ketchup guys I like ketchup now let me mix this all up together I think I need a little more pepper too let me put a little more pepper sauce I put some earlier, but I, it doesn't have that little. Need a little something. We gotta dress it up, make it taste good. Put a little more pepper sauce, guys. Need a pepper. Okay, a little more pepper sauce. I think that's good. Now we're not trying to burn down the house. We're just trying to get a little spice. Okay, so see guys, this is this gravy is thick enough. You don't need it to be any thicker than that. That is perfect. And this guys is your smothered pork chops. Bajan style. I make everything Bajan style. Bajan style is because I know Bajans love seasoning their food. Bajan like a lot of seasoning their food. It's no just no black pepper and salt around here only there is lots of different spices to make the food taste good that's why you always say Bajan style okay so this is smothered pork chops Bajan style the way Bajans will make it so let me taste this again let me taste this again guys to see if I need to add anything else to it 
So let's see. Perfect. You write them on the seasoning. You write them on the pepper that you feel a little bit in your throat. Perfect. Guys, taste your food. Make sure your food is tasty before you give it to your husband and he, he tells you it needs something. You make sure you taste it yourself. So that is done. Let me turn my stove off. Now over here, I have my cauliflower and I have a piece of sweet potato. So this is all I'm going to eat my pork chops with. So I'll show you how I prepare my cauliflower, but I put nothing in here. There's no... This is steam, so there's no salt, there's no pepper, there's no nothing on that. And I don't think I need to put anything on that. Because once I put the gravy on that, it's going to take on the flavor. So I don't need to put anything on that. No salt, no pepper, no nothing. So let me put it together and I'll show you how I put it together. So here I have the cauliflower. And as I said, um, I didn't put anything on the cauliflower. As you can see, it cooked pretty soft. Because cauliflower is a thing that cooks very quickly. And it cooks um, very soft, very quickly. So once you put it on, you can't let it stay on there for too long. But I wanted this one to be cooked soft. So I just mash it just like that. And this is what I do. I just put it right here on my plate. And guys, that's either my rice or my potato, whichever you prefer it to be. That's all it is. And this is, of course... You need a sweet potato guys, you need a piece of sweet potato, I have my sweet potato. Now guys, this is your smothered pork chops. So now, I'm going to take a pork chop, put it right here on my plate, and take now your gravy, and put it all over there. You see, you don't have to always have rice, guys. This is just a change from rice. And you can have that. And as I said, the, the cauliflower, I think that's enough gravy there. Let me just put this out of the way. The cauliflower, it takes on the flavor of whatever it is you put on there so I put that meat on there so it takes that flavor so let me taste it for you okay so now it's time to take a taste test so look at our plate right here or it looks really yummy you see you have a full meal here guys so this I am tasting is the cauliflower here along with the gravy from the meat okay it's a little bit hot let me blow a little bit guys you cannot tell this is cauliflower if you went to someone's house and they made this and give it to you you probably would ask what is that you probably would not even recognize the cauliflower the cauliflower taste cauliflower have taken on the um the flavor of the meat and it tastes excellent very good try it guys try it we're trying to eat healthy try using your cauliflower don't just let the cauliflower stay in the refrigerator and end up throwing in the garbage use your cauliflower thank you so much for joining me i had fun making this and i hope you have fun making it for your family until next time bye bye